I'm Mother Matthew and welcome to Mother Matthew's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make a pot of mussels fra diavolo. Fra diavolo means brother devil. So you can imagine that this dish is going to be spicy. Very simple ingredients, doesn't take that much. I've got two pounds of fresh mussels. I've got some onion, one onion, some garlic, maybe three or four cloves. Italian plum style San Marzano tomatoes. I've got two 28 ounce cans. Got some extra virgin olive oil, a little salt, pepper, and of course, to make it fried diavolo, I've got some nice hot chili powder. I'm going to start by chopping up my onions and garlic. As I said earlier, I've got one medium sized onion and about four cloves. Of garlic. You can add a little more garlic if you like it or a little less if you don't like it. So we're not, we're not going to mince this. We're going to chop it fine. But we have some decent sized pieces. <clears throat> My onions are going in next so I'm going to put a medium flame I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of extra virgin olive oil. Give that a swirl. Coat the bottom of the pan. And I'm going to add my onions. Get your onions in there going. But don't put the garlic in yet. Garlic tends to burn if you put it in too early. Let those onions soften up. going to go about two or three minutes until they're nice and translucent, get them coated with oil, and then we'll add the garlic. Now that the onions are translucent and softened, I'm going to add some garlic. I've got about three cloves going there, and mix that up good. Just keep an eye on it. Make sure you don't have too high of a flame because you don't want to burn the onions or the garlic. Garlic and onions are ready. I'm going to add my tomatoes. And give that a stir. What I like to do is break down the chunks of uh, whole tomato. If you used crushed tomato, you don't have to worry about it, but I've got some whole San Marzano tomatoes. I like it a little chunky, but just go ahead with your wooden spoon, break up any big pieces, and let them blend in there. So before you wash your mussels, you've got to check them to make sure that none are open. If you find one that's open, tap it. If it closes, it's alive. If it doesn't, you discard it. You want them to be nice and closed. Before the mussels go into the sauce, you want to give them a good rinse in a colander. Make sure you get rid of all of the sand and grit. And again, check them for any that didn't uh, close. And after about 45 minutes to an hour, your sauce will thicken up nicely, and it's time to test for seasonings. So take a little bit, just taste it, do what you need. Mmm, perfect. But if you like it a little hotter, add a little more chili powder, or salt, or pepper. Now the trick with mussels is they don't require a long cooking time. Like clams or oysters, they open after you put them in the gravy. So I'm going to dump mine right in there. I'm going to mix them up to make sure they're all covered. And I'm just going to let that simmer. And you'll see in a few minutes the mussels will start opening. You don't want to overcook shellfish or seafood because that becomes tough, loses its flavor, this is a perfect thing. Now the mussels are going to render their juices to really flavor this gravy nicely. The mussels are starting to open, so give them a mix. Stir them up. Get it nice and even. Probably about five minutes more. You want to make sure that they're all opened. The 
mussels are just about done. If you take a look, they're nicely opened. Now you can serve this dish over pasta, a nice linguine or spaghetti, but Mother Matthew style is dump them in a little bowl, get some nice crusty Italian bread, just dip that right in there. Mmm, wonderful. You're going to love it. So until next time, Mother Matthew says, good eats.